There are five pharmacist traps that are wreaking havoc in our profession worldwide, keeping them stuck in an unfulfilled job, wondering if they made the right career choice. In this series of episodes, I'm pulling back the veil on what they are, why we get stuck in them, and what you can do about it. It's time to flip your script from a breakdown to a breakthrough. I see my victory so clear. I see my victory so clear. It's a day we break through. It's a day we break through. It's a day we break through. It's a day. Look what I can do. Look how much stress I can manage and still stay standing. Look at what I did to make it happen when it didn't seem possible. Look at me. These statements are more common than you think in our profession and healthcare overall. And to be honest, there's nothing wrong with them. In fact, to defy the odds, to meet your outcome despite setbacks and to share what you made happen from your determination and commitment to encourage others to do the same is a sliver of that badassery that lives within you. However, the meaning behind why you are looking for the attention, the recognition, the eyeballs makes all the difference. If you're sharing your endeavors to simply celebrate your wins, enjoy the process, and inspire others to keep going, when the going gets tough, keep on keeping on. But when you're doing those things as a means to create your own self-worth and identity, you may have fallen into the performance trap, a snare similar to the achievers trap that we covered in part one of this five part series, but it's different in how it works. You see, as pharmacists, we can feel like we're in a circus, for real, having to manage so many tasks at the same time, literally juggling phone calls, managing pharmacy technicians, typing in prescription orders, de-escalating altercations, getting the drive-through, consulting with patients, recommending OTC products, taking prescriptions from the voicemail, scheduling work shifts, handling unexpected setbacks that seem to be a daily expectation, administering vaccinations, no, no lunch break, verifying prescription orders, managing pharmacy inventory, taking doctor calls, transferring prescriptions, all while standing and at times remembering to breathe and chant, this too shall pass. Seems like an exaggeration when we share this because all that I mentioned right there is scratching the surface of what we do in our effort to drive outcomes for our patients and manage the pharmacy. While that might seem like an exaggeration to people in our lives outside of what we do, when we share it with those people, like our friends and family, they might think we're stretching the truth. So sharing our day with others and even giving ourselves grace to acknowledge the triumphant feat of handling all of that and more that I just listed and ran out of breath several times saying, <laughs> It's rightfully due and encouraged for our mental sanity and well being to enjoy the journey. It's when we use these performances as a means to validate our own self worth, create our identity around what we do rather than who we are, that can slowly cast a mold of lies and trick us into forming our foundation on sand rather than on rock. We will not be able to hold our ground if we're standing on sand as our foundation. It can lead to things that you might have experienced or heard of in our profession like panic attacks, a compulsory drive to perform even more as a way to compensate, to just be performing at, to a point where like you sacrifice sleep to get more in, to burn the candle at both ends, or resulting in just a full-blown mental breakdown. Real talk though, every pharmacist wants a fulfilling career that makes use 
of the expertise as a farm D to get paid what they're worth. But the problem is, despite having a doctorate degree, most pharmacists are their own worst enemies. In fact, the most common block that I hear from some of the brightest minds in our profession go along the lines of, I can't get out of my own way. I know what to do, I just don't do it. I self-sabotage and don't know why. As a coach and speaker for the last several years, I've identified that most of the common barriers blocking pharmacists from dispensing their full potential are really selling themselves short. That's why I've done something about it and I'm excited to announce I'm hosting a live virtual one day workshop on Saturday, October 2nd, where I will be sharing what these barriers are, why we get trapped in our own head, and most importantly, how to get out of our own way. All you have to do is sign up on the fitpharmacist.com slash workshop to sign up today. If you do, you'll finally flip your script from your own worst enemy to being your best competitive advantage. This is not hyperbole, this is reality. Because if you don't, you'll continue watching other pharmacists less qualified than you get the job and promotion that you deserve. While you stay stuck where you are, year after year after year. Do not allow yourself to be your biggest barrier. Script your breakthrough with me at the one day workshop by signing up right now at the fitpharmacist.com slash workshop. Be sure to sign up today before all the spots are filled. I will see you there live. So the first step to overcome the performance trap is to have an honest conversation or let's say inner reflection with yourself to understand why you're driven to perform for other people, for the recognition, maybe for your own recognition. Now, it's true and it's just reality like Tom, everyone wants a pat on the back and a dose of encouragement that they're appreciated and valued. Like, is that so wrong to want as a human being? Not at all. But seeking it as your source of identity, that you're defined by what you do, you're defined by your performance, that's where the danger lies. The best example that I can share with you is from the best-selling book of all time. Now, I'm not here to preach at you spiritually. But this is an excellent example that so many people can resonate with. So hear me on this. So often when it comes to the faith of Christianity, people feel that they have to earn their way into heaven. They have to do more and more and perform in order to quote, earn God's favor and be acceptable enough to earn their way into heaven to earn their self-worth and identity through performing good deed after good deed after good deed. Maybe you are or were one of these people or maybe you know people in your church, your neighborhood or in your family who are constantly trying to perform to earn their way in right standing. The crazy thing about that is while it's so incredibly common, it's a lie. It's one of the most common lies and misconceptions in faith, but here is literally the good news. You don't have to earn what you think you need to do. Salvation, significance, acceptance, forgiveness, it has already been given to you through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. This is not an opinion. It's straight fact from the Bible. Real quick now, look at uh, Isaiah 64, 5, in which is stated, all our righteous acts are like filthy rags. Huh? What now? It means that whatever you think your most holy and best all-time performance has been, it's been literally as a, seen as a filthy rag in the eyes of God. Because here's the real, real talk. There is nothing you can do to earn your good standing with God. 
except for one thing. And this is where the weight that you've been feeling, if you've been trapped in this performance game, this is where the weight should get lifted right from your shoulders. The gift you've been performing for, the belief that you have to earn your way into heaven, there is no performance required because what you seek has already been given to you. That's why it's called unconditional love. The only thing that you need to do to get what you seek, the self-worth, the identity, the self-love and respect, is to accept that gift that has already been given to you. But Adam, if it's that simple and I don't have to perform or do any good works to gain self-worth and identity, why do good at all? It's hard. What's the point to follow the Ten Commandments or the Christian way of life? Why not just do what I want? We don't do good deeds to earn our right standing and acceptance by God. We do them as a reflection and to honor our right standing and acceptance by God. It's an outward display and proclamation of our inner gratitude to celebrate the gift that we've been blessed to receive, not as a performance, as a means to earn it. This one key fact not only can relieve so much anxiety and pressure that we put on ourselves that we're so good at as pharmacists, but it's literally the most effective antidote to the performance trap, written right there in the best-selling book of all times. So to recap the performance trap, it's one of the five most common traps holding pharmacists back, not because we all wanna contribute and make a difference, it's the meaning behind the motions we go through that can snare us in this lie. I know this episode went a bit deeper <laughs> into just all the things, but it truly is something that is rampant in our profession. Regardless of if people are talking about it or not, I see it all the time, and you've either experienced it yourself or you've seen it too. And my hope, my reason, my purpose for doing this episode in particular is that if only one person hears this and starts to feel that freedom and dose of hope, that there's a possibility to relieve and escape from this performance trap and can let go of trying to perform all the time and that's what their life is all about, then this whole podcast was worth it. So if you're wanting to take an even deeper dive, maybe what I touched on caught your attention, maybe these episodes have resonated with you and you wanna really go deep on this stuff and take an even deeper dive, into the whole concept of getting out of your own way to live the life that you desire and deserve and stop the self-sabotage that wreaks havoc in our mind, I'm so pumped to tell you all this. I am hosting a live virtual one-day workshop on Saturday, October 2nd that you will not wanna miss. Pharmacists, are brilliant, but we tend to be our own worst enemies. So the question remains, how do we break through? That's what I'll be sharing, along with a live question and answer, but you have to show up because it's live. Seats are limited. This isn't for everybody. You gotta sign up because this will be a live only virtual event. If this has resonated with you, you know it struck a chord of something that's been in your way for way too long. And if you're ready to set that aside and work through this, if you're ready to break through what's been holding you back and flip your script on your breakdowns to make them your breakthrough, this was made for you. So go and register right now at thefitpharmacist.com slash workshop to secure your seat today before they're all gone. I created this for you. From all the DMs, the emails, the messages, the comments, the story replies, 
because you might be feeling or thinking that this is just you, it's not. And I wanted to create a safe place that I will be leading to guide you through the BS that's been holding you back because you deserve more. You deserve to be the best version of yourself. You deserve to live a life worthy of the calling that you have received. So I want to see you there because I made this for you. And I wanna see you at your breakthrough. So go forth, be great, and dispense your full potential. God bless. I see my victory so clear.